This is the moment we have been waiting for. We have taken Leeds United back to the Premier League and we have a huge transfer window ahead of us to take this team to the next level. We have got just short of £80 million to spend and players to sell, so potentially even more money. The rebuild begins today, my friends. Welcome back, everyone, to our career mode journey here with Leeds United. If you missed any of the previous episodes, go back, check them out. They'll explain how we reached the Premier League with Leeds United. I want to say a massive thank you for all of your support. Appreciate all the love and support that you all show me. And I hope that I find you all doing very well, having an awesome day. And without further ado, let's just get started. I'm so excited to go spend the money, see who we can bring in and see what our squad looks like ahead of the Premier League season. So sit back, relax and enjoy, my friends. First thing to mention is I have gone through and transfer listed a bunch of players who I don't think have a future at the club. Most of these players were out on loan last season and there are a couple of players as well. I will say I apologise if I sell any of your favourite players. It's just the way it is sometimes and I really need to try and take this lead squad to that next level. So players like Bamford, for example, as much as he's been at Leeds for a very long time, he is now 30 and I don't quite think he's good enough for the Premier League. Also, I won't be showing you all the transfers that take place in today's video. Otherwise, the video would be way too long. So what I'll do is I'll show you them in a whole list at the end of the transfer window so we can see all the dealings that have been done. But any major transfers, you will see them in today's episode. And in terms of the squad, there are four positions I want to strengthen this season. Those being right back, left back, central midfield and central defence. So they're the four main positions we are looking to bring players in. And just to make you aware as well, um, I have looked through the free agents. Now, the free agents are as broken as ever. As you can see, Alvaro Duarte, 85 rated at just 19 years of age. He will be an outstanding player and I don't think it's very fair for us to sign him now. So I will not be using the free agents if they are this good, but we can use them if there is players that we want to sign who are not like world class already like Duarte. He has returned. Jed Spence joins from Spurs this time on a permanent deal. Was here on loan last year. Really impressed with him. I wanted to bring him back. So we have done £25 million for him. And I'll tell you what, very, very happy with his signing. Now, at just 23, he could be one that could be in this Leeds team for so long. Now, this is an interesting transfer. Luka Modric, released by Real Madrid. He's 38 now, and he signed on a one-year deal. I think he'll do a job for us in the Premier League, at least for this first season. Get us cemented as a Premier League side. He's really good at 86 overall, but do keep in mind, at the age of 38, may end up quickly declining so yeah free transfer £90,000 a week happy to sign him say hello to the newest addition to this Leeds United team Matteo Guendouzi has joined from Marseille 82 overall formerly of Arsenal you might remember went to Marseille back in the Premier League now with Leeds United and you might be seeing a theme I'm really trying to focus on the spine of our team get a really good spine and then we can build from there so Guendouzi Modric to play centre midfield now for a centre back now, you may look at this and think, what on earth are we doing? Melia has left. He's joined Leon, And as much as he's a good goalkeeper, he had a few moments last year where I was a little bit unsure. When Leon came calling and they offered us essentially £15 million more than he was worth, I had to say yes. I feel like we can get a better goalkeeper now rather than wait for Melia to get to the top level, essentially. So... I'm gambling a little bit here and hopefully I've made the right decision. We'll find out. And we still have some deals in the works at the moment, but I thought I'd quickly update you on all the transfers that have happened so far. So Jed Spence joining for 25 million. Somerville's gone to Everton for 11.7. Gallardo has left the club. Leo's gone. llorente has gone. Modric, of course, coming in for free. Christensen has gone for 10 million. Reeve out on loan along with, I believe as well, we've also loaned out a couple of other players. Gwenduzi in for 30 million. Greenwood's gone for 4 million. Moore's gone out on loan as well to Leicester. Melia to Leon for £35 million and Antuna has left for Wolves for £8 million. As I say, still lots of deals to be done though. And to replace Melia, we have gone out and signed Unai Simon from Bilbao. £10 million less actually than what we got for Melia. And he's actually now doubled his wages since joining Leeds. He was only on £30,000 a week at Bilbao. He's now on sixty dollars here at Leeds. 
Can't believe no one has gone to sign Duarte yet, though. That's incredible, the fact that he's still a free agent. And welcome to the club, Thiago Jallo, joining from Mallorca, our new centre-back partner to Pascal Stroik. I didn't know a lot about him. We were scouting him, but he's come in 78 overall, only 24, so room to grow very fast, six foot three as well, and I think he'll be a solid player for Leeds United. And we continue our spending spree by bringing in Ryan 8 Nuri for £19 million from Crystal Palace. The team is coming together very nicely. There is one more signing I want to make happen. There's been a certain level of flair missing from Ellen Road since the departure of Rafinha. So I've got one player in mind to return that to Ellen Road. And here is the player who is going to bring the flair back to Ellen Road. Take Fusa Kubo joins us from Sociedad as part of a £45 million deal. There he is in the Leeds kit. He won't be wearing the number nine shirt, but he has taken it in the little introduction bit there. Um, we will actually be renumbering all of the players ahead of the new season, but I am so excited to welcome Take Fusakubo to Leeds. So following the arrival of Take Fusakubo, let's take you through the deals that have been done and we've still got more transfers that are going ahead as well. So Harrison left for Inter for 13 million. Aronson's gone to Aston Villa for 20 million. Kubo, of course, joining for 45. I'll scroll through the list of players Bamford has left and then you can see what deals have been done because it's been a busy transfer window for us here at Leeds United and we are still not done yet. Still more transfers to be had and we are quickly approaching the start of the Premier League season. A big sale to tell you about. Luis Sinistera has left to go to Nottingham Forest. He was out on loan last season at Bournemouth, but we've let him go for £35 million. And that frees up some more money, as well as Shackleton, who's leaving the club, for us to go out and buy another player. I'm thinking one more transfer, and that'll probably be us done for this transfer window. We have the first game of the new season. We're taking on Preston at Ellen Road. I'll probably sim this because afterwards... We've got Manchester United at Ellen Road. And this, my friends, is how our new look Leeds United is looking. That is a very strong team on paper. And as I say, potentially one more player joining us, which could strengthen a team even further. Safe to say, I'm confident of three points here against Preston at home. Let's see what the score is. 2-0. Take Fusakubo, first goal for the club, along with Matteo Guendouzi. So two of our new signings scoring in this victory. And just looking at how we've strengthened this Leeds team, we could be in for a spectacular season. And our biggest signing of this transfer window. Welcome, Wahi, to Ellen Road. We sign in from Lens for £60 million. I said we'd give Joel Pirro the start this season in the Premier League, but we can't just rely on him for goals. And we don't really have a great backup striker. We've got Ruter, but Wahi is just outstanding. He's going to hopefully be a crucial player for this Leeds team for many years to come. And that, for now, is all I have planned for the transfer window of Leeds United. It has been a busy one, which has seen so many players leave the club. As I scroll through... You can see who has gone and who has come in, how much money we've paid and all of that. But I am thrilled with this transfer window. We have built a side that, as I mentioned earlier on in the video, could lead us to a spectacular season in the Premier League. I'm hoping for a top seven finish. That's the aim. I want us to achieve European football and we'll see if we can do just that. But we're about to play our first game with this lead squad. Of course, beating Preston on match day one by two goals to nil. We sim that. But now we've got Man United at Ellen Road. And we go with this starting 11. So Wahi on the bench for us today. Piro starts the game up front. Behind him is Shaparenko. Then we've got a midfield four of Nonto, Modric, Gwenduzi, Take Fusakubo. A back four involving Eight Nori, Stroik, Jallo, Spence, and then Simon in goal. Let's see if we can beat Manchester United at home. Bruno Fernandes, short free kick to Martinez. Jed Spence has picked up an early booking for a late challenge. That he made. That's not a good clearance by Leeds. And a shot by Hoyland will end up having to be saved by Unai Simon. Double change for Leeds at the break. Wahi on to make his Leeds United debut. And also Wang Hee Chan replaces Nonto on this left-hand side as Wahi has replaced Joel Pirro. Chan forward towards Guendouzi. Made the run ahead of him. Guendouzi can't hold on to the ball for long enough though before Martinez is in with a challenge. 
Rashford now then for Manchester United, who just made a change of their own, I believe, as well. But you've got to say at the moment, Leeds will be happy with the way this game is going. Bruno Fernandes finding the feet of Rashford. Rashford now then has work to do here. Jallo's with him. Rashford finds Bruno Fernandes, goes for the shot from distance. Unai Simon will provide the save. And unfortunately for us, Eight Nori cannot prevent the corner. Interesting sub here made by Man United. Hoyland's gone off. Don't know who's coming on. Anthony Martial has come on for Manchester United. Hadn't really seen too much of Rasmus Hoyland as another shot is blocked. As Eight Nori has to be careful here. He is careful. And now Chan can take leads forward. But need to find the runners. The ball over the top is a hopeful one. Nothing more, but it's a poor clearance by Calabria. Shaparenko then for Leeds United. Comes away with possession. Can he find the ball back inside? He will find Wahi. Wahi will find Kubo. Kubo. The lit goes in strongly and actually wins the ball. Fair play. Only a Leeds throw. We aren't really committing too many players forward in the attack, and that's causing us a bit of a problem. Here is Jed Spence, though, towards the byline of United. Pulling it back to Wahi, who could have made himself an instant hero. But unfortunately, the shot is blocked. And Manchester United get away with it. Oh no, oh no. How has that ball got through? Eight Nori, what a block. He has had an outstanding game at left back for us here. Yes, admittedly, that ball should have been dealt with and it should never have got to Anthony. But when it does, Eight Nori, outstanding block. Anthony now on the turn. Unai Simon will save. And I have to give credit to this Leeds United defence. Yes, we have relied on Unai Simon a couple of times this game now to pull off. Some very, very good saves. But it's important to know that when it matters, we can defend against the big teams. Oh, no! That is not how we just concede. I'm outraged. Manchester United are going to win the game with an 87th minute winner from Mateus De Ligt as I'm praising Unai Simon. He saves. The ball's there and he, like, doesn't claim it. I don't know what he's done. But it falls away of De Ligt and he puts Man United ahead. We haven't deserved to get anything more than a point from this game. We haven't really threatened Onana, but we haven't deserved to lose it like that. Shaparenko, Wahi's trying to get through the middle. Could this be an instant hero in Wahi for Leeds? Yes, it can! And Wahi has made his name at Ellen Road. We thought it would be a Manchester United winner, but how mistaken were we? Because Wahi has just announced himself to the Leeds United fans. And this, this is remarkable. The ball goes through while he gets in. Don't know why I said he's announced himself. He's announced himself to the Leeds United fans with a right-footed finish past Onana. And to be honest, I don't think Onana's had a save to make all game in terms of a shot that's actually been tested by him and having to make the save. Because the only time we did find a shot, it was blocked before the ball even reached Andre Onana. So... Leeds United 1, Manchester United 1 will finish the full-time score here at Ellen Road and we will take that point. Just altered Shaparenko's position to a cam and he's gone to 83 overall. Carabao Cup tie against Blackpool. We will be simming this and we've named a number of changes for this cup game. So let's see what the result will be. It is a 3-0 victory, Pirro and a Nonto double. Away to St. James's Park to take on Newcastle. There is their starting 11 captain by Kim Pembe. This will not be an easy game, but they haven't yet picked up a point from their opening two games they've had this season. But St. James's Park is such a difficult place to go and get a result. Here is Elise for Newcastle. Newcastle on the attack down the right-hand side. Joe Linton's in the middle here, goes for the shot from distance. Came through a number of Leeds United players and Unai Simon was equal to it. Means it'll be a corner for the home side. Wilson's... Header goal bound. Unai Simon will catch with ease and look to set Leeds up on the attack almost immediately. Jed Spence to try and take us forwards. Ahead of him is Takefusa Kubo, who's done really well to hold on to possession here. And now Kubo can spread the play out to the left-hand side for eight Nori. And we are seeing Wahi start and make his full Leeds United debut in this one following his heroics against Manchester United. So let's see what he can do in this game as Spence now finds Gwenduzi. Gwenduzi away from one. Brilliantly run here. Now finds Kubo. Kubo on the turn. Into the area. Takefusa Kubo was brilliant. And then Loris Karius will make the save. The ball ricocheting off of Nonto. Out for a throw in, but actually it must have hit him on the arm because a free kick has been given. Shaparenko. Now Gwenduzi. Gwenduzi has got Spence one side because Kubo's made a great run to open up space for him. Spence. Gwenduzi! Oh, Matteo! Gwenduzi! 
picks out the top right corner and Leeds United are in front at St James's Park. You saw us have a chance before this, it's been quite open. The earlier chance which we saw Unai Simon save and then Kubo had his shot saved by Karius. But it's just placed beautifully from Matteo Guendouzi into that top right corner. Leeds in front. Leeds United look so composed. They look so calm on the ball. It is beautiful to see, especially coming into this season. I had a bit of concerns with how he defended in the championship at times, but you know what? We've conceded one goal so far in the opening three games. That was against United. And it was in the 87th minute of that game. So we were almost a clean sheet there as well. Kubo finding Spence. Spence into the area of Newcastle, pulling it back. Gwendouzi can't get the shot away yet. We'll find Modric. And it's just a period of possession that Leeds United have had here. And like I say, it's wonderful to see them knocking the ball around with such confidence. Shaparenko, Gwendouzi, Gwendouzi, Kubo. Has he stayed on sides? I don't know. Well, it doesn't matter anyway because Newcastle have got it back as Wahi goes charging in to try and block the clearance. That's a handball by Joe Willock. Advantage will be played by the referee, although there wasn't really one. But Leeds have it back again. And yes, you are seeing a struggling Newcastle side in their opening two games, but take nothing away from us. We've been brilliant here so far. Not made a change in the game because I don't want to upset the balance. Oh no, we've missed the header. Pascal Stroik has to win that. We're fortunate. And look at the reaction of Unai Simon, who's called upon by Leeds United. Was the decision correct to bring him in and let go? Oh, Melier, no! Oh my goodness me. And let go of Melier to bring him in. Well, other than the save we saw him make against Manchester United, where he should have then got on the loose ball, He's made some really good saves early on in his Leeds United career. And that there, by the way, we were fortunate to still be in front here. Gwendouzi looking for the run of Wahi. Advantage played, I believe, for offside. Ref, do you want to blow the whistle? Thank you. Leeds 1, Newcastle nil. It is two wins from three in our first three Premier League matches. As we stride over to shake the hand of Eddie Howe, who finds his side zero points after their first three games. Transfer deadline day is upon us. And I don't plan on doing anything else in terms of transfers because our finances, you can see we've got £15 million left, but I'm quite happy with the squad. Unless anything changes, you won't be seeing us make any more transfers happen. Nonto apparently rumoured to be interested by Wolves, but again, I won't be selling him. So you can have as much interest as you want. He's going nowhere. The transfer window has now shut. So let's have a look at the deals that have been done in terms of the biggest transfers of this transfer window. Delict to United. Gimaraes towards Atletico for £84 million. Sanchet going to Milan. Nunez left to Dortmund. Interesting. I think he'll do really well for Dortmund. Mendes to Liverpool. Robertson to PSG. Wahi to us was actually one of the biggest deals of the window, unsurprisingly, for £60 million. Cancelo to Barca. Costa to Arsenal, and I'll scroll through very quickly so you can see some of the other transfers that have happened. And that'll probably be where we leave the first episode of this Premier League season then, my friends. As I keep scrolling through, we're still at about £40 million for all of these players. And uh, as I say, Kimpembe, who you just saw feature there for Newcastle, only cost them £35 million. So maybe we should have looked to have signed him, but I'm quite happy with the deals we made. Melia to Leon. As I said, during that Newcastle game, we'll see if that decision was a good one or not over the coming season. Unai Simon, brilliant at the early stages of this one, pulling off some outstanding saves, but he did have that moment against Man United. So, yeah. And this, then, is how our squad looks for the coming season. As I scroll through, you can see we've got players in all positions, but what we have done is we've slimmed down the squad a lot. For example, we've only got one right back being Jed Spence, but I can look to play eight Nori at right back and maybe even possibly Ampadu if we need to. But yeah, I I'm happy with the squad we've got. And in terms of the positions, we've got some outstanding footballers in key positions. Really excited to see how this guy gets on for us, Take Fusakubo, but not only him, Wahi as well. Exciting prospect. Said he could be here for a number of seasons at Leeds United. And after the first three games of the season, we sit third alongside Fulham and Brentford, who are in the top four. But as we know, the season changes a lot. 
as the season progresses. 38 games in the Premier League, still 35 matches to play. I do hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have done, a like would be greatly appreciated. Also, subscribe if you are new around here and like what you see. Activate the notification bell as well so you don't miss any of the future videos on the channel. I am trying to achieve 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year, so that would be absolutely amazing. And uh, I'll see you all back here for another episode of the Leeds United Career Mode very soon where we take the Premier League by storm. Until then, stay safe, have a great day, have a great evening, look after each other. And adios.